Hallelujah. Abushe Jesu, abushe mapilonga reina. Kawani ena ke khosh. Amen. Thank you very much. Re chela pele ka tuto ela ya the kingdom of God. Aha. The kingdom of God is also called the kingdom of heaven. Re ke kwela bo sebe ke fetileng when Tatem Japelo was ministering. Um a tlatolla a tjweleletsa se o eh bo goshi le go sona. Um among other things to bolejita ba gore if we are talking about the kingdom of heaven or we talking about the kingdom pora gore go na le khoshi there is a king uh huh but a king cannot rule without a domain or a territory so there is a king and there is a territory in which the king rules uh huh so we are talking about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. Oh, God is also a king. And he rules. And he has a territory. And that is as he explained it, it we are his territory. He is ruling over this territory. We are the territory of God. We are the domain of God. Amen. Amen. The other thing that I that I highlighted the king is sovereign. Uh -huh. The king rules by decree. His his word is the law. When the king rules, he does not consult you for what is your opinion. I want a cabinet meeting. I want a legislature. There is no debate. In the, in the kingdom, there is no debate. The king rules by his word. The king rules by his decree. And his word is the law. And his word is the constitution. Uh -huh. So you are going to abide by it. Marabaka spedi ba re go nya tsa khoshi ke go diang. Go tuga. If you are not willing, of course he's not going to twist your hand. Mara you can't stay in the kingdom. A go na tjo tjo. Rape the king has not been voted in. You cannot use the power of your vote to bring the king into his, into his power. The king is in his power with or without your wishes. He is the king and he reigns over his domain. And this song that we have just sung, Reign, Jesus, reign. You are the king of Zion, the lion of Judah. Reign, Jesus, reign. Now, what are we saying? We are not instructing him to reign, actually. When we say reign, Jesus, reign, we are not telling him to reign. We are saying we submit under your rulership. We submit under your kingship. We submit to you. We are here 
and you reign as you wish on us. We are not going to be rebellious. We, we are going to submit under your, your rulership. And sure, I was just blessed last week. And um, so for the people who are living collocationing, Manquin Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone C, really they might not understand what the king means. Or we just show massacre. or Flora Park for that matter, or Bendo Park. We may not, some of us may not really understand what the, Maraiba no Joham Lab, like me. Um, my bishop, how about Ham Lab? You should have a bit of understanding here na Hoshiki Horei. Haiba uchwa amutapo. Haiba uchwa England. If, if you come from England, you should have an, a bit of understanding of what, what the king means. Because the king rules. The king is not elected. The king is there as a king, whether you like his complexion or you don't whether you like his height or you don't, whether you may think you are more intelligent, the king is the king, and he rules, and he rules by decree. And his word, the word that comes from his mouth, is the law. You have to abide by it. Amen. Amen. Now, um, as I talk about the kingdom, I will time and again be taking examples from the kingdom. As I said, kingdom of Ramlebo, of Hoshimlebo, the kingdom of, Na, uh, of KwaZulu Nadal, and the kingdom of England and so on. But we should not lose focus. While we may be mentioning those other kingdoms, really we're talking about the kingdom of God. So whatever we say, as we say, the king rules by his decree. We must, we, must, we must at the same time be saying in our minds, Jesus, the king, Amen. he rules Amen. by his decree. God, the king, rules in his domain by his decree. He doesn't negotiate with you. He doesn't, he doesn't really care what you feel and what you think and what you, your opinion is about it. When Tremudi Marki Toile Talo, Kura Ainata Valorna, when intellectually we process as young, it doesn't matter. It is just that. That is the law of God. God hates divorce. You in the church, God says, I hate sin. And it is just that. Even if you understand, but God's word is his rule, God's word, is his law, God's word, is his constitution. Amen. Amen. And that's how really we should relate to God. God is not here to negotiate with us. He is the king. Now, if you don't like what, is, what, what, what the king says, get out of this domain. 
All right? Yeah. It's either you accept what he says or you get out. So God is not about pampering us and nursing us and begging us. He is the king with or without me. And therefore, whatever I may be thinking, I'm offering or I'm tithing, the king does not beg my tithe. He does not beg my offering. With or without my offering, he is the king. And I must submit under his rulership because he is the king. Hallelujah. I'm not really preaching. I'm, 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 I'm going to teach us. And even as I start, I want to tell you that I, one of the people that I love reading their material, Dr. Miles Monroe. He talks a lot. He teaches a lot about the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. If you have uh, opportunity to go to good bookshops, acquire yourself these materials. There are many topics, there are many, many titles, but uh, I can tell you that every title that I have read of Miles Monroe, it, it teaches about the kingdom of God, no matter what it is. Whether it is whether it is finances or whether to check our leadership he is he's on the kingdom of God this is one man that I respect uh, I, I, I love to read his materials um, I want us to read the scriptures that I have aligned so that Hekito uh, Takito the scriptures, the word. We are we are building on the word. Please help us. Um, we want to look at um, the scriptures about the kingdom of God. And I said the kingdom of God is also the kingdom of heaven. heaven. So, fellow heaven is another name of God. God, the kingdom of God is the kingdom of heaven. So, heaven. He, he referred to God. But for heaven's sake, why does this man treat his wife like that? For God's sake. Oh, so God and heaven are interchangeable. For heaven's sake, for God's sake. Okay? But listen to what Jesus says in Luke chapter 15, verse 18. Jesus is talking about, is, is teaching on the parable of a, a lost son, a prodigal son. You remember the story? And Jesus is actually teaching about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. And he talks about a story of a son in the family who decided to get what belonged to him from his father and go away to a faraway country. And while he is in the faraway country, he squandered every good thing that the father gave him. 
right? Yeah. And after some time, he suffered. First of all, he left the presence of the Father. He left the covering of the Father. He left the protection of the Father. And he went into a faraway country. And there, he lived as he wished. And he, he, he ended up suffering. But we come to this. He comes to his, sen his senses at one point. This is Jesus saying. He comes to his senses and he says, I will get up and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and I have, I have sinned against you. Uh huh. That's how he repents. Father, I have sinned against heaven. And at the same time, you can say, I have sinned against God. Yeah. That is what he means. When he says, I have sinned, he doesn't mean I have sinned against the stars and the moon. When he says, I have sinned against heaven, he means I have sinned against God and I have sinned against you, my father. Please forgive me. I know that I'm not worthy. Just accept me so that I can have a shelter under your house and have bread to eat. So, here we're talking about the interchangeability of the word heaven and God. Amen? Let's quickly read also Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea too, and he was saying, repent, because the kingdom of heaven has come near. Okay? Amen. Who is this? John the Baptist. Jesus has not started his ministry. Now, normally when you, the first impressions are the deepest, okay? So when he opened his mouth and started preaching, he tells the people about the kingdom of heaven. So it tells you that his theme of ministry is about the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Now Jesus comes into the picture, Matthew 4, 17. Matthew 4, 17. From then on, Jesus began to preach. What does he say? Repent. Repent, because the kingdom of heaven has come near. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Jesus speaks again. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be provided for you. So the first thing that you should seek is the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So we can say that the kingdom of God was very much foremost in the ministry of Jesus. You remember in chapter 6 verse 10 also. If you can go to verse 10. That's when Jesus was teaching people how to pray effectively. I get it, they said to him, teach us how to, how to pray. And in the prayer, he says, when you pray, and he told them what to say, what to do, but among other things, your kingdom come. come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
So when you pray, you say, your kingdom come. And when he preaches, he says, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And John the Baptist said, repent, for the kingdom of God is near. So the kingdom is actually the very basis of the ministry. In Genesis chapter 1, when God has created man, the, the very first thing that he gives them, can we see it on chapter 1, verse 27 and 28? So God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. This is at the very beginning. God has created humanity. And uh, verse 2, verse 28, God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and every creature that crawls on the earth. Hmm. Right there, let us observe. This is the first thing that God does after he created humanity. He gives them to rule. He gave them a domain. He gave them a territory. And he says, rule. Have dominion. Subdue. Bring them under control. Now, everything else follows, but the first thing is the kingdom. <coughs> Sorry is the kingdom that God gives to humanity. Actually, because God himself is the king, he was extending his kingdom. He was expanding his kingdom. So that the kingdom that he had in heaven should extend to the earth. So that what was happening, God was ruling in heaven. He was reigning in heaven. He was the king. And he's extending his kingdom, but he's putting people who are related to him. Are they related to him? Are they related to him? Are they in agreement with him? They are created in his own image. They are created in his own likeness. They are like him. They have his spirit. Uh huh. Yeah. God's very nature is in them. Now, because the God's nature is inside of them, they are like Him. They are in agreement with Him. They can become His regents. They can become His representative. They can become the the kings on behalf of the king. Uh -huh. yeah. And I said, every time I talk about these things, relate it to yourself. You have the spirit of God. 
you are like God. You are a child of God. What belongs to God belongs to you. And God has given you a territory. Amen. God has given you a domain. You have a place that you are in control of. But the real king is God. Now, you are a king in your family, Radima. That, that, that family, that, that family is a small territory where the king has appointed you as a regent. As a regent. Uh, regent Kasvenda Parki Kosi Faredi they talk about Kosi Paredi. Ke Khoshi ya go swarela Khoshi. Is a regent. Now Adam and Eve e be le magoshi kwa Eden. Ba swaretse khoshi. Amen. And they must rule. They must bring the government of heaven go Eden. The will of the Father in heaven must come on earth. The rulership of Father in heaven must be ruling go, go Eden. The constitution of heaven must come and apply go, go Eden. Now in your case, the constitution of heaven must come into your house. The constitution of heaven must come into your business. The constitution of heaven must come into your school. Let your will be done on earth. Let your kingdom come. The constitution of heaven must come into this church. The rule of God, the will of God, must happen in this church. Because Muruti Kikosi Faredi, he is ruling in this house on behalf of the real king, who is the owner. He's a regent. Amen. And many of us, and all of us indeed, we are given the office of being a regent where in, 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 in many places where we are. I'm a regent in my house. I'm a ruler in my house. But I don't rule just as I wish. I have a law that is given unto me. Now think of Britain. England... The king and the queen of England, they had their country, England, as their domain. Right? Now, those of you who did history would know that they went to many other places and they colonized those other countries. What is to colonize? is to extend your kingdom in that place and make that place to be ruled by you. Uh -huh. In a sense, God also wants to colonize our families. He wants to colonize our businesses. He wants to colonize our countries so that he can extend his kingdom 
into those areas. And now when the king extends his kingdom in another area, that area is ruled by the kingdom. That area has to have the culture of that kingdom. That area has to have the economy of that kingdom. That area has to have the language of that kingdom. Are you not surprised that in South Africa we have places that are called Port Elizabeth? Elizabeth is the Queen of England. Are you not surprised that we have places called East London? London. London, Ranamo, Africa. <laughs> we have East London, London, Rapid London, King London, King Land. <laughs> now, and we have Port Elizabeth and many other places that are identifying with the names, with the language, with the culture of Britain, of England. Why? Because the king of England has come to this place and has colonized this place. Are you not surprised that we have Newcastle Newcastle, Kanamo, Africa, Castle, Newcastle. That is the name of England. Okay? But when the kingdom extends itself into a new territory, into a new domain, it also transfers its culture right now. Yeah. Yeah. It transfers its culture. <laughs> this thing is not African. This thing is not African. The language that I'm speaking right now, I'm not colonized. <laughs> but all that I'm saying, if I talk about England and I talk about France, the kingdom of France, many other countries in Africa, when you go to Congo, you will not hear English. What do you hear? French. Because the king of France has colonized Congo. And the people in Congo, they are learning their subject, subjects in, France, in French. Their official language is French. They are writing in French. Their, their, their food, the type of food that they eat, was just a French. Because France has colonized their country. Do we understand? Now, we must, we are not just talking about history. We are talking about the kingdom. We got to understand that when the kingdom of God comes into our territory, our culture, yeah. our language, our way of dressing, our way of naming things, the way you name your children, take a sailor.
when, when, when we are captured, when we are colonized by another kingdom, the values of that kingdom, the culture of that kingdom, the language of that kingdom, the lifestyle of that kingdom becomes our kingdom. That is why in our houses in Alabama, the baby chobu utu melo. Baby chobu Samuel. Hallelujah. But we are talking about the kingdom. Now, the rule and the power and the authority of that king must be seen to be operating in this, in this new kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is extended to earth. I said it when we read in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and 28. I get it. God said, rule. Have dominion. Subdue. Have power. According to my word. At the same time, he told them what not to do. You, you are allowed to enjoy this and that and that and that. But you are not allowed, this is the law, to enjoy that. Now what happens if a regent disobeys the king who placed him? What happens when a regent rebels against the king who placed him in his domain. Umudia, umu tangkola, umu umu chela mata. Have you seen Adam at work? Karo nyadije, hosh. He went out there. He was kicked out of the protection of the king. He was kicked out of the provision of the king. Because the, one of the king owns everything. And he gives, he gives provision to those who are his subjects. Who are under him. He gives also, he also brings the military to protect the subjects in his, in his colony. Bona, if we have God reigning here, if God is the king here, his military is going to defend us. We are going to run by his economy. We are going to be supplied according to the riches that are there. But if we rebel, if we disobey, we are going to be kicked out of his economy we are going to be kicked out of his protection. We are going to be kicked out of his supplies. We are going to be kicked out of his culture. Uto makala resitir na le culture mwe yagor maga ajana. Which is not the culture of heaven. We are going to have an... Urupula economy ya adama urile aba yuam mutlang waza ba juele ba le kicked out. The economy... Because 
boy. You are going to suffer in this world because of your rebellion, because of your disobedience, because you did not uphold the rulership, the word, the constitution of the king that placed you there. You are kicked out of the privileges. Now, there are people who are living in this country, perhaps who are in this church, who have been kicked out of the protection, of the provision, of the favor, of the goodness of the king who wanted to be under the kingdom. But you can always, like that boy in Luke chapter 15, you can always say, I will go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against you and I have sinned against heaven. Please accept me again. He is more than willing to accept you. Hallelujah. We are talking about the kingdom. The kingdom will protect you. But you must be willing. What does Isaiah 1 say? If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you are stubborn, if you are rebellious, you will be devoured by the sword. Amen. The kingdom consists of the king and his domain and the earth that we are living in is God's domain. Okay? Psalm 24. What does it say? Le fasigila moren. Le ma koko koko. Le fasilote. Le ba riba lon. Kien. Motei walona. Rolim radino. Kiena mutech walona. Kolim ramawad. Now, he, he is the owner. Bona, the king is the owner. And he gives you his domain as a privilege because you are his regent. Le fasile, le ma koko koko alona. Kitama. And you, you, you are free to enjoy them. As long as you submit, as long as you obey, as long as you up uphold his constitution. Bona, we are given the constitution. This is the constitution of our king. His word is his law. His word is his constitution. And if we embrace it, and if we love it, and if we walk by it, we, we will enjoy his protection. We will not be ruled by the drugs as young people. We will not be ruled by words or labor fairly. We will not be ruled by corruption. If the king, if Murutu Arena, Iloban, he is upholding this constitution, 
if he is upholding this law, when he asks for money for, 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 for the ministry, he will not abuse us. Yeah. He will do it loving us. We will, not be, we will not be abused. We will not be taken advantage of. We will be peaceful because the regent is upholding the law of the king. If the father of the house is a regent of the king, and he upholds the law of the king. No child will run away because he is abused. No child will be a, called a street kid because he is abused. Because the father loves the child protects the child, provides for the child. Even when the father disciplines the child, the child would know that I am disciplined because I am loved. Amen. Amen. There is no reason for me to run away. This man loves me. He is not he is not, he's not you know, venting his anger on me. He, is, he loves me. Hallelujah. We are talking about the kingdom. If we understand the kingdom of God, if we understand the kingdom of heaven, life will be heaven on earth. Because we are, we, we, we are not exposed to any danger. If any danger comes around, the king takes care. If any danger comes around your economy, the king takes care. You are running a currency. Yeah, that kingdom. You are... You are what Abraham, come out of your people. Come out of your father's house. Come out of your nation. Come out of your languages. I will give you a new language. I will give you a new culture. I will give you a new economy. I will give you a new domain. Where I rule and you are my regent. Abraham, Whoever curses you, I will curse. And whoever blesses you, I will bless. Now God was calling him out so that he can rule the earth through him. The whole earth is going to be blessed in you. I want to bless the earth. But I'm going to use you as my regent. The whole earth is going to be blessed in you. The king, I've already said it, extends his kingdom via colonies. And he appoints the regents who are ruling according to the laws of the king. And they are ruling on behalf of the king. Amen. Amen. They are ruling according to the will of the king. The will, the laws, the word of the king. Colonies are a miniature version of the real kingdom. If you go to a colony, what you're going to find, their currency, their money that they use, 
you go to a colony of England, you're going to find them using pounds and shillings. When we were growing up here in South Africa, you, you remember the Russian Shelly Pond. The Bukuka and Yoruka go up, Ogawa, Vairatu and Tabarke Pond. Pond. Because we were running our economy on the currency of England. Now, when you are a colony, the culture, the way of dressing, the way of talking, the way of education, the way of doing things, the development is according to the kingdom that you come from. Hallelujah. Now, if we, as the children of God, as the regents of God, are living in this world, we will be different from everybody else. The flag that will be flying in our houses, the flag that will be flying in our businesses, the flag that will be flying in our communities will be the flag of that kingdom. The language that we talk, when you speak, people will say, Yo, I heard God speaking. I heard God speaking. You speak blessings. You speak with authority. You speak the will of God. You speak the righteousness of God. You speak the holiness of God. You speak the goodness of God. Now, you are a rebel. You call yourself Mzalwani, you call yourself a Christian, but you are a you are a rebel. People must must know that you the way you talk, the way you think, the way you do things. The way you treat other people, the way you treat your, your juniors at work, you are a principal of a school, the way you deal with your, your colleagues, your teachers, you are a manager of a company, the way you deal with your subordinates, people must, must say, sure, we are led by a man of God. We are led by a woman of God. Even when we have made, made mistakes, the way we are rebuked, the way we are brought back to order, we, we see that we are led by the man of God. Amen. Amen. Sure. Yeah. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Abuse of delegated authority, despite and rebellion against the king always leads to punishment, power withdrawal, loss of benefits, loss of privileges, and sabotage is never tolerated it will always attract punishment and banishment. You cannot sabotage the kingdom of God. If you sabotage it, you are going to be banished from the kingdom of God. Some people, some people in South Africa and in other countries who are trying to sabotage the kingdom of God they end up fly by Nigeria by Yonyaga the power. And don't, please don't find yourself in that space. Don't find yourself Utsela Milwanui Yam Mozambiki or Yonyaga Nagayo Hole or a tech business Yarao 
gore e thege bophelo ba gago gore e thege ministry wa gago gore e thege whatever your government ya gago submit to this kingdom and the powers of this kingdom will come down on your business the powers of this kingdom will come down on your family the powers of this kingdom will come down on your life it depends korna wa submitana unfortunately sabotage and rebellion are not acceptable what kind of relationships are supposed to be between the king and his subjects including the colonies the responsibility of the king is to offer love protection provision security empowerment guidance and vision that's what the king will do as long as you 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 he's in relationship with you he will give you those things he will give protection when you need protection he will give provision when you need provision he will give you guidance he will give you vision of where this kingdom is going and you as the subject of the kingdom what is your responsibility how do you relate to this kingdom yours is to offer honor obedience submission praise worship reverence thanksgiving adoration supplication and child like faith amen you must adore your king i watch on television when the zulus see their king what do they say bayete when a wind goes and they say a lot of things praises unto the king the, that's what the king needs he needs to be honored he needs to be praised he needs to be worshiped he needs to be ob obeyed amen and he is the owner of everything utlago fa mashimo utlago fa everything that you need utlago fa di utlago segela di stene khosh utlaba le madulo na geng ya khosh gape na geng ke ya khosh amen now do we want to be supplied from god there is an easy thing that we should do obey him submit to him adore him praise him amen worship him what he says must not be done we don't do it amen we don't even try to reason it out we come to him with a child like faith amen we 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 don't reason anything what he says is bad we say it is bad just as he says hallelujah Amen. we are talking about the kingdom and we are in the kingdom and we want god to reign like the song says reign jesus reign you are the king of zion you are the lion of judah reign in my life reign in my family reign in my community reign in my church reign in my business reign i'm not going to be rebellious I'm going to obey you. Help me to uphold your constitution. Help me to walk according to you so that I can continue to enjoy your protection. 
I can continue to enjoy your provision. I can continue to enjoy your goodness. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Even if you don't like something about the king, you still obey it. You see, with this king, you can't have a referendum. Let us be relevant to our day. It's, it's not about your committee. It's not about your, 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 your leadership, what they conferenced and decided on. His law is undisputable. His law is not bendable. His law is just as it is. Reakwana. Jawar lena lukwani juanga kumiti ya lena kijale na. Mara his law is not subject to negotiation. It's not subject to your opinions. You did not vote him in. You can't vote him out. He is there with or without you. You obey him, you enjoy these benefits, or you disobey him and you lose out. Amen. The kingdom of God is also called the kingdom of light. Uh -huh. yeah. Light. What? Light. If you walk in this kingdom, you don't stumble. I will teach you. Because we are born. Okay? He rules by his light. And of course, there is an opposing kingdom, which is the kingdom of darkness. Uh -huh. The kingdom of darkness is the kingdom of ignorance. Satan takes advantage of his people because they do not know. They are ignorant. Now, in this house, you are not going to be ignorant. Because the light will keep on shining on you. The word of God will keep on shining on you. The word of God will keep on saying this is wrong, this is right. The word of God will always show you what is good and what is not good. Yeah. You are not going to walk in ignorance. If you want to walk in, in ignorance, you'll have to get out of this place yeah. and go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You, you are rebellious. You have walked out. But you can't afford to be ignorant when you are in this house. Because in this house, the king rules. And he rules with his light. He brightens. He shows all the mistakes. Bless the Lord. The kingdom of Satan is the kingdom of darkness and ignorance. He rules people by fear. And, and you can't be afraid. Do you know that if you, if you are empowered by this kingdom, there is no fear in you. I mean, you can go through trouble, you can go through suffering, but there is no fear. Fear is brought by ignorance. You don't know the power that backs you. You don't know the military that defends your territory. Jehoshaphat when he was ignorant of the protection of God, of the military of God, 
that is going to pro he looked at the enemies and he was afraid but some of us who are enlightened who see who know what God says about us we walk and we are okay. We go through the valley of the shadow of death and we emerge okay. People look at us and say, Maramutungana asa shokishika mkhorberna na ruta shokishika gona. The way he went through trouble, the way his business went down, the way his family got into trouble, the way his health went down. Mara, even in, the, in that valley of the shadow of death, you still emerge. You are not afraid. You have light. It is good for you to walk in this light. Amen. We do not say you will not go through trouble. You may lose loved ones. You may lose business. You may lose things. You may be hated. You may be lied upon. But as you, as you walk in this light, the kingdom sends the army to shield you. Psalm 91, 10,000 will fall on your side. And a thousand will fall, but they will not come near you. You will watch as the evil ones are revenged. This is a person who walks in the kingdom. This is the person who dwells in the shadow of the Most High. You got to make a choice. I'm going to walk under God. His constitution is going to be my constitution. His culture is going to be my culture. His language is going to be my language. His economy is going to be my economy. You got to make a decision. You are not going to take chances and be on both sides. He is my king. He is my ruler. And nobody else is going to rule me. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be ruled by fear. I'm not going to be ruled by ignorance. I'm not going to be ruled by anything. I'm going to stand strong. Because he is the rock upon which I stand. Hallelujah. When regents lose the power of the kingdom of heaven, they turn to religion. You know, uh, religion, when I live with a baby, I would talk about it. I'm going to go to the king is not there. Mara Osana le substitute. Aria Greke. Aga Ritagam. Lega le Pelayuan. Ara Rotola recipe. Rerarria Levon. Now you are in religion. You have substituted the power of God. Ka religion. Your language tells us that. But somebody who knows, who is no, not ignorant, the grace of God is sufficient for me. All is well with me. The goodness of the Lord is going with me. Hallelujah. This, this is the language that you are speaking. That's the thinking 
that you are having. That's the, that's the policy that you walk by. That is the law that is in your heart. The law of love. The law of goodness. The law of righteousness. The law of mercy. The law of the perfect will of God. Amen. It shall be well with the righteous. The Lord is overseeing me. The Lord is taking me by his hand. Yes, I'm going through what I'm going through, but the goodness of the Lord follows me. Amen. Amen. Isn't good at Takagamuka? Kiss some so called Larosana retiring. Religion tells us that Regano Lala or Natava Retire Pilla Lodimo Regano Lila or Natava. Arno Pilanka would eat the bow, Kikuko Rapper Gamuka. Regano Pilla Gadi Vice Ogadia Mui Mutuanam Reba Tuana Magam Gagarin Retano Bona or Nam Limuta Yankar Nam Tarifita. That is what the religion says. And many churches that we know, the Kiki religion fella. There is no power of God. You say to them, God can heal you. They don't believe it. You say to them, God can save you from your sins. They don't believe it. You say to them, God can give you righteousness in your family. They don't believe or motwana righteousness. Religion has told them. Or Arno Kuba, Arno Arno Haramaja, Hotaba was a way happy. Retala Malagale, who and we are not going to fall into that. We are not going to be religious. We are going to stand on the power of God. We are going to stand on the constitution of God. We are going to stand on the provision of God. It is going to be well with us. It will be well with our children. It will be well with our families. It will be well with our lives. The goodness of the Lord is going to go with us. Amen. Hallelujah. When the kingdom of God reigns, when people allow the kingdom of God to reign, when people submit under the will of God, under the kingdom of God, under the kingdom of heaven, sinners get saved. The sick people get healed. The poor people become wealthy because God gives them power to create wealth. We come out of darkness into his marvelous light. We speak the language and we say we are the children of the Most High. We are kings and princes. We are of the royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. That's the kind of language that we start to speak. Hallelujah. Because we have submitted under his rulership. Amen. You do not come into this house burdened by your sins and go back home with your sins. You do not come into this house burdened by your stress and depression 
and go back home with, with the same stress and depression. You do not come into this house with your poverty and be settled with poverty and continue with poverty. The kingdom of God must come in your life here and now. All that you need to do is to submit. I'm not working in your kingdom. I don't sleep well at night. I don't. I don't. I don't. I I want to submit unto you. I can't go on like this. I want to come under your kingdom. I want to be supplied by you. I want to be taken care by you. I submit under your kingdom. Amen. Amen. You can't continue like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I invite anybody who says, I want to submit under this king? I want to give myself to this king. I want him to take my burdens. My life is not going. I've lost control. I've lost the direction. May, may God give me direction. May God give me a vision. May God heal my diseases. May God heal my family. May God heal my people. May God heal my children. I submit. When you decide to do that, the goodness of the Lord. You know, when, if, you, if, you, if you can be obedient and willing, you are going to eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Culture ya mudimuto wa para. Language ya mudimuto wa para. You will be a God in your family. You'll be a regent in your family. Can I make an invitation? If there is somebody amongst us who says, Now I understand better, now I see the light. Now I am no longer ignorant. I know that there is goodness in the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God can come on earth as it is in heaven. The peace of God which is in heaven can come into my life. The joy of the Lord which is in heaven can come into my life. If there is anybody who is willing and obedient, please come forward. The Lord save you. The Lord heals you. The Lord protects you. The Lord becomes your king and your God. Is there anybody who wants to do that? Over to you, Mruti. Thank you.